Hello beautiful people, how are you doing today? Hope you all are in the best of your health and fantabulous as always and as I always want you to be. So today in School for Elders, I have a very very beautiful story and loving story as well I can say. It is a story of Sussex couple uh, George Kirby and Doreen Lucky who got, who became oldest couple to get married as per Guinness record and uh, they have broken the record of our last couple who co we covered um, I mean it, because they got uh, married in 2015 at the age of 103 when George was at the age of 103 and Doreen was 91 so they become world's oldest couple um, last time I have told you about Forrest Lunsway and Rose Pollard who got married at the age of 183 respectively right so uh, this couple I'll tell you about uh, however uh, they have been dating from so many years they first met each other in 1988 and they are blessed with grandchildren and many great grandchildren however um, they have done I mean there was a very cute proposal and uh, George died after one year of the wedding however he just married his sweetheart right uh, whom they, he stayed for so long I mean marriage is one thing which people have timed out with numbers and all finding a right soulmate you don't have any age so whenever you get if you are single there is no harm in getting married to that particular soulmate right so uh, yes this is a story and it's really beautiful so today if anyone wants to go through I'll be posting the link in the Wikipedia they may go through their complete story also today I have a very very interesting wellness mantra why it is interesting uh, I know I, I have got healed fine with all your blessings however I just want to tell you one thing the wellness mantra is whenever something happens to you never tell this to everyone in the world uh, I'll tell you this is a small uh, you can say this is a small scratch right you know what people said what words they have used and words have so much of power sar fat gaya kahan se sar fadwa liya ye sar pe kya hua tumhare head pe kya hua however it is just a scratch on forehead can you see it's just a small scratch and people were like i don't know what negativity they have inside maybe they really wanted something bad for me or it is maybe out of concern or something but it was clearly shown in my bandages also it is just here it's not here or something right my hair are intact otherwise doctor would have never listened to me he would have chopped off my hair and he would have done the bandage because that is the way it is to be done right so uh, if you till the time you are not completely healed never ever disclosed uh, never ever disclose uh, whatever has happened to you right uh, not even to yourself just tell yourself that you are well you are healed that's what i have kept on going and i just got healed in two days this is the magic this is the mantra which i always follow that i'm fine i'm perfect and what no matter whatever outside uh, people will say or people will send wo chahe kuch bhi bole jaye aapka sar phat raha hai aapka ye phat raha hai pehle to ye word hi kitna ganda hai right please don't use this word ever in your life bolo mera sar bilkul theek hai I mean, its literal meaning is how bad it is, right? So, your sir is completely fine. Your sir is healed. You say, my memory is very good. My brain is very good. So, my sir is very good, right? So, please, don't say bad words for me. And not for anyone else. You may ask, I mean, if you really want to ask someone for their well-being, you may ask what has happened. That, isn't it better? Or, rather than, अपनी तरफ से कुछ बुरे वर्ड्स लगाने के लिए कहाँ से तुम पता नहीं बहुत अच्छे अजीब अजीब वर्ड्स बोलते हैं लोग I don't want to repeat also because I don't want to give power to these words right so words cast spell तो आप जब तक ठीक नहीं हो जाते please किसी को मत बताएं आप अपनी तक रखें you just keep it to yourself because I am not sure how many people will bless you and how many people will curse you or how many people will enjoy or celebrate whatever has happened to you right so you should celebrate your each and every day that you are alive all right so just consider that this is a divine plan to prepare me for whatever i have asked for in my life okay so it's part and parcel of that 
so this is my wellness mantra please um, keep whatever has happened to yourself keep it to yourself and keep on saying that i am well i am healed all right so thank you so much bye bye take care see you